This is a fabulous website called Patch Bay, which provides data from sensors all over the world. To keep the file size of this video tutorial small, I'll go through this quickly, but when playing it, use pause and rewind in working through any parts that, that went too fast. I've already done some exploring on this site, and I know that I want some electrical costs. So I'm going to click this little green symbol here at the top for energy, which is going to remove all of the other symbols not related to energy. And then I know there's a spot that has some interesting data from my exploring in southern England. And so I'm going to move the map around and keep centering it and zooming in. And I'm looking for the little town of Swindon. And there's a sensor with data from a house there. And I'm going to click on that. And it's going to tell me something that I need to know, 2788. So I'm going to record that number because I want to pull that information into a website. In order to create a new page in which to put this data, I'm at Google Sites and I'm going to click Create Page. I want to give the page a name. And click Create Page. I can add more comments later, so I'll put some text in there simply as an example. Hit the Enter key and get the cursor blinking on the screen. I'm moving to the menu bar for Google Sites, not the one at the top of the screen. Clicking on Insert, going to More Gadgets, and I'm searching for a gadget, a gadget related to this site. And lo and behold, there is one, so I'm going to double click on it to select it. Things look like this is what I want, so I'm clicking select one more time. And then I'm going to put in the number. That's all it asks for, the feed ID. What's the number of the sensor? And I'm going to click OK. Now I'm ready to see the results being projected to my web page simply by clicking on Save. And now that data is streaming into this particular location. I can then add other information related to a lesson plan or activities around it that I want my students to do. And one of those things that I might want them to do is to click on this and actually go to the PatchTube site again and look a little bit further down the page. And in this particular case, I'm going to get the data from here and move it into a spreadsheet. So I'm going to get the electrical usage for this day. I'm going to click on Embed. And I see different ways that I can pull this data down. I want to get, for the moment, the history data from the last 24 hours. I'm pasting it in, hitting the Enter key, and, and I'll see the data. I can see that it's all separated by commas, but the raw data is pretty hard to read with here. Copy and paste right into Excel really doesn't display this data in the way that would be useful in the spreadsheet. So I'm going to save this as a text file to the desktop. And I can see the file begins with H for history, clicking Save. I'm going to move over to Microsoft Excel and I'm going to click on File and go to Import. It is a text file even though it did have the character CSV in it, but that wasn't what ended the file. So I'm looking out on the desktop again for that history text file and I'm going to click Get Data. Now it's going to it's telling me how it's going to display that data and it happens to be that the the data is delimited that is separated by commas. So I'm going to click Next and I'm going to say commas are separating that information. Now I can see how it's going to look in the spreadsheet. I'm going to click Next again. I really don't need to put anything further on this so I'm going to click Finish and then starting it in that cell should be fine. Now as I look across the spreadsheet I can see the data. I can highlight the entire row. I can choose charts. By resizing the graph, one can make the data easier to read. And this same 
image of the graph can be copied and pasted into Microsoft Word or PowerPoint or used in other ways in other applications.